Assalamu alaikum, my friends. Inshallah, you are doing well. When we are farewelling Ramadan, there is this feeling of sadness. Ramadan is an opportunity. It's a time for reflection, for spirituality, with connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Quran. And this month shall pass just as everything in this life passes. I read um, an analogy that I quite liked. Ramadan is like a pop-up shop. Do you know what a pop-up shop is? So sometimes you might be in the mall and you might notice a shop that you've never seen before. And this shop is a pop-up shop. It lasts for some time and then it goes away. It's removed and it's it's uh, not a permanent thing shop. So Ramadan is like a pop-up shop in the sense that those who come to the shop benefit from what it has to offer will be able to retain that goodness with them inshallah. But those that just pass by the pop-up shop do not look into what it has to offer, do not invest their time, they won't benefit from it and it will be taken away. So um, at the end of Ramadan, how do we farewell this month? This is what we're going to be talking about today, inshallah. Farewelling this month starts with reflection. Reflect on how well you did this Ramadan. How was your prayer? How was your fasting? How was your treatment of others? How was your discipline with yourself? If you feel like you've achieved something that you are pleased with, then you say, Alhamdulillah. And you thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that blessing. If you feel like you can do better, then you make dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you the strength to reach next Ramadan and do better inshallah. You make dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you the gift of reaching Ramadan next year inshallah and that you can do better. Another way to farewell Ramadan is with a lot of istighfar, asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for maghfira, for forgiveness, because regardless how well we do, we are human and humans are imperfect. So we definitely have made mistakes throughout Ramadan that we need forgiveness for. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for hafu. There's a dua that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to say in the last 10 nights of Ramadan, and that is, Allahumma inna ka'afoon tuhibbu al-afwa fa'afu anni. Oh Allah, you are an inna ka'afu. You are the one that forgives. And you like to forgive, so please forgive me. Fa'afu anni. So make this dua, make this dua. And then, the other thing that we should do at the end of the month when we are farewelling it is to reflect on some of the new habits that we built this month and think about how we can retain them in the next year, inshallah. So for example, let's say you've developed a habit of making dua every day. Continue that, inshallah, during the year because there's benefit to you. Also, if you made a habit, for example, of reading more Quran, continue that, inshallah. You will see the blessing of that throughout the year. So making that intention to not let Ramadan just be one month where we benefit and then it doesn't reflect on the rest of our year. Also, it's an opportunity to reflect on how Ramadan changed you. What are some of the things that you learned this Ramadan? What are some of the things that were inspirational to you? Reflecting on that is a, is a way to retain that, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the life to be able to reach next Ramadan, inshallah the health and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our fasts and all of our good deeds and inshallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept my fast your fast our prayers and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the maghfira the forgiveness inshallah I hope you take care and I hope that I see you next Ramadan inshallah assalamu alaikum